2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Reverie Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player has been doing really nicely, building that solid advantage over the field. But today's just as important as the first few, isn't it? Of course it is. And the way they're playing, however, though, I don't see them going anywhere but up. I just find what they're doing out there to be fairly flawless. Now, is it possible they stumble? Of course it is. But I'm having a hard time understanding how that could happen. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Well, it looks like it's too much club on this one. Wow, what a shot. And here we are with the third shot. Hmm. Take that, that's quality. That was pretty straightforward. And now that finds him in first place. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Wow, that was just striped. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, I've been following DeChambeau around. This is his next shot here on the third. Getting ready to play their third. Okay, let's get back to the action. This spot looks awfully familiar. Didn't they play here yesterday? They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Going with a three wood here. Uh, that won't get a good lie, I'm sure. And here we are with the third shot. Nicely done. This one's for Birdie. Well hold. Let's move on. He's currently sitting in first place. Teeing off here at the third hole. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut right by the green. Let's get back to it, shall we? This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. And now you just got to pray for a good lie because that one's heading towards the sand. Getting ready to play their third. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. Five feet coming up to the cup. Well hold. Currently in first position. Teeing off here at the fourth. Going with the pitching wedge here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. That is definitely a confidence builder. 
And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke, but can they maintain it? Let's find out. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Nicely done. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That might be one club too many. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. That was a gallant attempt. Par putt coming up here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Time to tee off at the sixth. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Going with the eight iron here. This one looks to be a tad wayward. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. A bit short with that effort. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Four feet to the cup. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Well, there's been action of plenty all over the course. Let's head back to the seventh where this happened. The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Beautiful swing there. Around 110 yards to go. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm following Tony Fee now at the moment. This is the eighth hole. From the sand, looking to get up and down. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down here on the ninth hole, guys, this is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. Oh! So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course.
We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here at the ninth. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. And after a birdie at the last, they'll take the honour on the hole. Excellent opportunity to extend that lead. What are they going to do? Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. Lining up for his third now. Well, they're obviously playing to a game plan here because I remember they were hit in from this similar spot yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Ooh, it would be nice to make this putt. This is for Regal. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Still in the lead now after that hole. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the nine iron, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, what a shot. He's hold it. That was all luck. But listen, luck counts in this game. Mark me down for a one, I say. What a shot. Let's go ahead and put the old stink eye on another one. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. What can you say about an ace, Luke? It doesn't get any better than that. This player, however, really needs to focus in and bear down because they are still on cloud nine after making that one. That's heading into the rough, I think. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Slightly elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back there. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Getting ready to play their third. Lovely touch. Well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Job done. Let's head to the next. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Tony Finau with a fantastic shot. This is how you do it seven days a week. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Here we have a par five. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Second shot here on the 13th hole.
Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. That one's come up short. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. He sits in first position. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, they might not be able to get all of this, but it is setting up pretty good in the first cut here, guys. Four right. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Uh, this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. Looking really good, this one. And after this hole, that's how it looks. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Uh, it's hitting to the rough for mine. Setting up in the first cut. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. This putt coming up is for birdie. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Always nice to hold one for a birdie. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm over on the 16th hole. This is Bryson DeChambeau. Sitting at four under for the day in a share of ninth. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. We have a par five on this one. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Second shot here on the 16th. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Well struck. Oh, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Going with the hybrid. And it's out to the right for sure. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Good-looking putt. Well done. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings.
quite often the hardest hole in golf. A long par four. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they might have a good chance with this one. It's in the first cut, sitting, sitting pretty good. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. Through 54 holes, this wonderful golf continues. Our leader in the clubhouse. Oh, it's been sparkling, hasn't it? It's been a pleasure to watch. It's got to be a little strange, though, having such a massive lead because there's only one way to go, and that's down. Let's see how they handle the pressure on the final round. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.